Hello and welcome to Patient Power. This program is sponsored by the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. I'm Andrew Shore. Sarcoma is not just one cancer. There are at least 70 types. And with me is a leading specialist in the field here at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. That's Dr. Seth Pollock. Thank you for being with us, Dr. Pollock. My pleasure. So I understand about 20,000 people in the U.S. are diagnosed each year with a sarcoma. Mm -hmm and they could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. But with all these different types, it would seem really important that maybe they get to somebody like you at a major center and where you work with pathologists who look under the microscope and they're really clear on what's what, so you get the right treatment. It's so critical. I'm glad you brought up the issue of pathology because there was a study that actually looked at that exact issue and found when pathologists aren't experienced at looking at sarcoma, they miss the diagnosis, they miss the exact sarcoma type about 30% of the time. And that can actually have a huge difference in terms of the type of treatment that we choose for the patient. And most, sar most pathologists don't have a lot of experience with sarcoma. Uh, here at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance, every single patient that comes here has their pathology reviewed by an experienced bone and soft tissue pathologist in our pathology department. And so if we're talking about different subtypes of sarcoma, mm -hmm. in some cases you have had some very targeted therapies that make a big difference if you know what sarcoma you're dealing with. That's right. So, so there are some types like <clears throat> Ewing sarcoma, osteosarcoma. These are um, uh, very aggressive sarcomas where the long-term survival just 20 years ago was really about 20% of patients uh, would make it five years. Now with modern therapies, the, those survival rates are over 80%. But uh, there's a lot more research that's needed because a majority of sarcoma types uh, still need better therapies. That relates to clinical research. Mm -hmm. So where you are here, mm -hmm. you're not only treating patients with available approved therapies, but you're investigating new ones, clinical research. That's right. So I have a lab that uh, researches sarcoma immunotherapy, and actually we're um, probably one of the, the only labs that have that focus in the world. To my knowledge, we're the only sarcoma immunotherapy lab where that's our entire focus full-time, 24-7. Uh, and we have clinical trials that have come out of our lab, adoptive T-cell therapy trials. Okay, and just so our audience understands, when one develops cancer, mm -hmm. your immune system let you down. It didn't see the aberrant mm -hmm. cells. That's Those right. Those cells keep forming, they form some sort of tumor. Yes, that's right. Right, so you're looking at strategies in research and some trials open to patients to try to activate the immune system to do its job. That's right, that's right, we know that a patient's immune system can eradicate cancer. And what we're interested in is how can we help the immune system do its job and kill the cancer cells. Hmm. Dr. Pollock, are you hopeful? Now, we're talking about many mm -hmm. different types, I know, but you gave some examples of real progress. Mm -hmm. Are you hopeful for today for more people diagnosed with sarcoma if they get to the right practitioner, get the right diagnosis? I'm glad you brought up the right practitioner because it makes a huge difference. Sarcoma is about 1% of all cancers, so some of them are quite rare. And even the very rare subtypes we see at a relative, relatively frequent, uh, we see some of these rare types. I mean, maybe we see them only once a year, but most doctors never see them. And uh, so that gives us a lot more experience. And we have trials that are devoted even for some of these rare types. So we have one clinical trial that's um, going to be open soon. That's for a very rare sarcoma subtype. Uh, and there would be nowhere else really for patients with that particular sarcoma subtype to have trials. For patients watching, listening, if you or a loved one is diagnosed with sarcoma, got to get to somebody like Dr. Pollock here or wherever you may be in the world, find that specialist and seek out current therapies or investigational therapies that might be the right for your specific situation. It can make a huge difference. It can make a huge difference. We wish you well in your research mm -hmm. and thank you for your dedication. To the thank you very much. Okay, Andrew Shore with Dr. Seth Pollock from the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. Remember, knowledge can be the best medicine of all.